Tonight we are learning more about what led to at least eight kids and a driver at a Rowan County school to need hospital treatment after a bus ride. County leaders now telling us the students were exposed to carbon monoxide, but they're working to find out how. WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood is live at the Rowan Salisbury School District with the latest. Kaylin. Well, Fred, they're really calling this a puzzle. It started on Friday when those students, they actually went to school without an issue on one of those buses. And then when they returned home, they say the students became sick. Then much of the same on Monday were the students again riding on a different bus, same route and getting sick. And while they work to find answers, the county telling me that carbon monoxide is what uh, caused those students to become sick. And they're just trying to figure out why we spoke with a mechanic about some of the process they may be going through as they look over those buses. For 32 years, I started out my driveway and here I am. Big vehicles have been the business of Jay Helson at his business, Carolina Auto Truck and Coach. We work on fleet vehicles, buses, motorhomes. While there are different kinds of buses, he says a leak could cause carbon monoxide to enter the bus. Carbon monoxide and a vehicle, we'd have to study hard on the exhaust and look at the uh, maintenance um, records. Though it's still unclear if that's what happened in Rowan County after multiple students and a bus driver became sick on two separate bus rides. The district says they were coming from Hanford Dole Elementary, stopping at this fire station mid route. We're still puzzled as to what's causing. Alan Cress, the Rowan County Emergency Services Chief, says after the students tested positive for carbon monoxide, they tested the school, buses, and even homes of students, but found nothing. There's no readings on either bus inside the school. Their homes, no readings there. The district says they've looked at the bus's emission systems and will do additional tests adding that it's working with county officials to evaluate any potential exposures at the school prior to the bus departing the school and had a staff member riding the bus Tuesday to monitor for potential causes. Well, just getting in information after that bus ride that happened today, the district telling us again they found no, um, uh, in, in, you know, no carbon monoxide on the bus essentially after they did those rides and did those different tests. And as those uh, investigations continue into what exactly is causing these issues, uh, the district is telling us that the students have come home from the hospital and are doing well. Reporting live here in Salisbury, Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte. Kaylin, thank you so much.